Welcome back, this is uh, Yamachak, and today we have Gunslinger Suicidal Calf Rig. And, uh... I've, I've, ch I've changed some things on the audio settings, so I've given my voice, the microphone, a, uh, a 5 decibel boost, I guess. Uh, and then I have moved the desktop audio down from 7, or negative 7, to, uh, to negative 10. So the, the desktop audio should be a little bit worse off for it. Uh, and uh, hopefully my voice is a little bit more overpowering because I've been noticing in a few videos lately that uh, the game audio and stuff is a little bit, especially in the Amjack Tries and Gunfire Reborn and, and series that are new and being added in, um, the, the desktop audio is just, it's too loud. It is too loud. So with this, I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit better. Um, the, the little bit of gain that I'm adding in, I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad for like peaking and stuff like that, but since it's software and not a very like intense gain, I think it should be okay. Uh, it's like yelling at me in the OBS preview, like the my, my, my microphone is constantly red. Um, I listened back to it, it sounded fine. <laughs> um, it sounded fine, but I, can't, I don't have my mute key. I don't have a mute key, dude. Where's my mute key? Oh, I didn't restart my computer today either. I think we started it last night, maybe. I don't know. Ooh, see ya, bud. See ya, bud. Um. Anyway, I uh, I'll be I'll be watching back this video to see how it goes. Hopefully, this is a little bit better because I really I really want my voice to be the main thing in any video that I'm recording. Because obviously, as a, as this kind of content that I'm making, the the voices and the commentary is really the the focal points of um. The, uh, the videos for sure so uh, I really want it to be the the focal point you know and unfortunately it's, it's really just it hasn't been in a few videos lately and that's been really disappointing to me um, you know as it'll come with experience being able to, to get that working properly and uh, consistently of course I can edit it in post I do save them on separate tracks so worst case scenario um, I can start editing all the videos to just get the audio balancing kind of going right and then render them all and upload them. Uh, if I'm going to be doing that, I would have to have like a week of backlog, which I'm okay with. Hold up. I have to get my, my, my mute key. I really want to hold up. I got a sneeze coming. Boop, boop, boop. Much nicer. Okay. Um, anyway, I'll be listening back to this video and seeing how it goes. Uh, with experience, I'll be able to, to get it going better. And again, potentially worst case scenario, I just have to start editing the videos in post. It's not that big a deal. I would want to have a week of backlog so that I can render, like, you know, do like a batch render and render all of the videos at once. And then upload them all so we'd be like constantly a week behind at, uh, at least you know, at the worst case scenario, it'd be two weeks behind as I have, uh, you know, the, the things going up, but, um, anyway, that's worst case scenario. I don't want it to come down to that. I, I, I can make it work by just doing it this way. Um, it's just, it's going to come down to experience and being able to, to see the things and, and make the decisions on the fly. Um, so it's just, uh, yeah, it's just going to be experience. And, uh, and and learning and, and and understanding it a little bit better than I do currently. So, yeah, it'll just come down to uh, to that. But um, I, I think that this is going to be a good move. I'm hoping anyway. I mean, if it isn't, then this is going to be like 20 minutes of recording, just kind of down the drain. Um, but we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, Let's see, so it's the four minute mark, yeah. I, I, I feel like I've kind of made all of the sounds that I tend to make in a, in a video, typically, you know? Like, I've uh, I've raised my voice as I've gotten excited. I've uh, kind of, like, <laughs> laughed and stuff, uh, you know, as I as I do on occasion. So I feel like I've made the, the sounds that I typically make in a, in a given video in this video by now, so I only really have to watch the first five minutes and, and make sure that all of that is fine. And then, like, after that, the rest of the video is going to be, you know, of similar quality because I don't, I'm not going to have a quieter point. I'm not going to have a, uh, a louder point. Those will be, you know, those are already going to be like the, the normal stuff. And 
Yeah, I can't I can't balance it for the the extremes because I, I have some pretty big extremes honestly uh, I go from like pretty loud like up here where I'm like excited and kind of like uh, enthusiastic about something To like down here when I'm kind of just like yeah, yeah, whatever. Come on, man. Just get out of here, dude Like that kind of stuff, you know So I have uh, I have some big extremes and I can't really balance it for that I'm just gonna have to I don't know get better at commentating make sure I don't do that kind of stuff But I mean this is my commentary style. This is this is how I talk. This is me, you know I can't really change that. That's a uh, that's against everything that I believe in as a, as a YouTuber, as somebody who uh, who commentates. I feel like uh, you know it's one thing to strive for excellence and to be better. It's uh, it's another thing to to strive for for changing your cadence entirely and 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 just like changing up how you talk and how you commentate just to get better performance on the videos. I feel like that's just not for me. So. Yeah, if that's what I if I have to talk like this to make sure that I get all the videos and the views that I need in this video, then uh, I think that we're just not going to have any uh, any videos going up. If I have to be constantly like this, it's not happening. It's not happening. I can't do this. I mean, I could. I could talk like this. I could, but why? Why? Why would I talk like this forever? I don't get it. So I'm not gonna. I can do a number of voices though. I like doing voice. You all sit. You all sit at your like uh, I don't know anywhere, everywhere. You you're driving around. You're uh, you're sitting on the toilet. You're uh, making lunch. You're making dinner. You're making breakfast. You're making second lunch. Uh, that's a that's a Lord of the Rings joke. I think I have not seen it, but I believe it is a Lord of the Rings joke. Look how look how cultured I am. Look how cultured I am, making Lord of the Rings jokes. They can make references to, to pop culture. Wee! I am I am cultured AF. Um. <laughs> uh. Anyway. Y'all sit. Y'all ever like be doing something? You're just kind of like sitting there and like, how am I gonna talk today? Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna today. I'm gonna try and talk a little bit like this. I'm just gonna I'm gonna shit here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like this. This is my new voice. I'm going with this voice for the rest of my life. This is this is the new me. You can't handle it, then you know you don't deserve to be a part of my life. You know, because all you ever ever do that, and then like it's time to talk to people, and you're like, okay, well you know the fun's over. People have to actually like understand me. <laughs> they have to, I have to be capable of communicating my ideas and concepts to them in a clear and understandable fashion, so that we can have a uh, discussion on equal footing and you know progress ourselves as as a, as a species and as people. Cause I do that. I, t I tell you, I do that. I definitely do that. I don't know. I don't know if you noticed, but I mean, I do voices in the uh, on YouTube all, on in recording all the time. You know, as, as I'm recording, I'll uh, I'll throw out a couple of voices here and there. I'm sure you guys have noticed as you've been watching and listening. I mean, I sure as heck hope you've noticed, because otherwise you're just watching and. I mean, my whole goal is for the, the watching to be the least important part, so if that's the part you're here for, then uh, I've, I've failed. I've failed miserably. You know, it's, it, yeah, it's, my, it's my dream for people to fall asleep listening to me, and it's my nightmare for people to mute me. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a, that's a failure. Success is, is you falling asleep, and failure is you muting me. Because you're like, I don't really want to listen to you talk, you just, you just play the game good. I just want to watch you shoot things. Please, please stop talking. I'm like, oh my god, I've... What have I done? Thankfully, nobody says that. Most people say, yeah, I've got, I put you on while I'm cooking dinner or something. And I'm like, yes! Yes! <laughs> you know, I put you on while I'm cooking dinner. You know, while I'm cleaning the house, I uh, throw your video on. You know, well, uh... I get, I get a lot of those comments. People message me too, you know, it's like, it's, it's, it's weird because a lot of people message me on like Discord or, or something. And uh, like they don't comment on the videos, but they, they, they send me and they're like, Hey, wow, you were talking about how you want people to be like doing things otherwise. And like, I was doing that, like, you know, you're talking about me right there. And I'm like, ha ha, if only you commented so that I get the better, <laughs> the, the, the better YouTube stuff, okay? I want the, I want YouTube to know that I'm important too. Uh, but no, I appreciate it anyway. I appreciate when people send me uh, messages on any 
on any platform. I appreciate it on YouTube the most because it gives me the, the most possible chance of success. But, uh, you know, anywhere I appreciate it, for sure. Um, but it's oftentimes, you know, it feels it feels bad when people send it to me on, like, Discord or something because, uh, for one, you know, it doesn't give me any kind of, like, boost on YouTube. Like, when you comment, it tells YouTube, like, hey, this person is making engaging content. Show it to more people, you know? And, uh, when, when you send me a message on Discord, YouTube's like, Right, you're boring. <laughs> right, yeah, no uh, no activity here. Um, so it does it does help me more when you comment on YouTube. But again, I don't mind when people send me messages anywhere. It makes me happy anyway. Um, I get messages on Reddit. I get messages, like, I don't know. It's, because I don't get that many views on my channel. You know, like, I only get, like, we're going, like, way off topic here. I only get, like, typically four to, to ten views per video these days. And somehow or other, I get messages on, like, Reddit and, and Discord and like I haven't actually had a PM on YouTube yet, but uh, definitely had PMs on Discord. I've had PMs on uh, on Reddit. I've had comments on Reddit, um, and I'm like, I'm not even like, I'm not, I'm not at the point of, of people recognizing me. But uh, I don't know. I'm like, it feels it feels really good for for people to to send me messages on on other platforms too because you know yeah it helps the YouTube thing when you comment on YouTube, but it also feels good when people are like, just just seeing me out in the world, like, oh hey, I, I, I watch you. And uh, it, that, that that specific situation hasn't happened much, but definitely people have sold said that uh, they enjoy watching me on Discord and Reddit a few times. And uh, it's just crazy. You, know, you don't think about that kind of happening when you have uh, the viewer base that I have, but uh, apparently it does. Crazy. Anyway, people will message me and they'll uh, they'll often say, you know, like, uh, hey, uh, you know, I like putting your videos on while I'm cleaning or doing the laundry or making food or something like that. Nobody's told me that they like sleeping to me yet. Nobody's nobody's told me that. I haven't I haven't reached my my ultimate my my the, the penultimate goal of uh, of the channel. I haven't I haven't peaked yet. You know, <laughs> there's still growth. People people aren't falling asleep to me, so uh, we're not done yet. But uh, definitely, definitely, I've had a few messages like that, and um, so that always feels really, 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 really nice. Nobody's, thankfully, nobody has said. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, I guess that's the the ultimate uh, moral of the story. There is that uh, you know, nobody's really sitting there saying, "Hey, I like your videos. I don't really like you talking so much, though, so I put you on mute." But like, you're really good at the game. It's fun to watch you shoot things. You know, nobody's saying that. That would crush me. It would be, I'd, I'd be filled with despair. <laughs> if you ever, if you want a you know, April Fool's joke, right? I tell you, it would really, really upset me if, if everybody said that to me in the, in the comments or something. I mean, it wouldn't because like if everybody was doing it, I'd be like, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, you know. But that's like uh, that's like the nightmare, you know. I feel like my, my aspirations... My, I've always felt like my aspirations are pretty... Silly. You know? Like, um... I mean, my goal is to, to make money by putting people to sleep through talking to them on the internet. Uh... You know, that, that's my, like, dream. That's my dream job. Is to be, like, somebody who helps people fall asleep by by shooting zombies in the face not not sure how many people dream about that as a, as their career um I'm probably I'm probably pretty unique in that uh, in that regard I think so if you're looking for somebody to watch who's got a, a unique outlook on life it's definitely right here um you know and then like my secondary dream you know if like I, if that can't happen is to get a job like a minimum wage job working at like McDonald's and I'm like, yeah, this is pretty good. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, this is, yeah, this is nice. I'm into this. <laughs> you know, like, it's just, uh... I can't, I can't imagine many people aspire to be as useless as I aspire to be. I don't know, I guess, I guess it's not useless. You know? Because cause I'm helping people fall asleep. Or I want to, anyway. Um, and, uh, you know, if, if that doesn't go through, then I'm helping people, you know, get their coffees in the morning and get their food and, and eat and stuff and 
you know, useless isn't right, the right word, but my aspiration, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I'm going to be a lawyer, I'm going to be a doctor, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to solve the problems people have with their sleep, I'm like, I'm just going to talk to people, I'm going to flip burgers for them, you know, it was always, it was always funny, because I was like, growing up, and my dreams have largely been, like, I don't really care, I just want to have enough money to survive, and then, like, just kind of live my life, you know? So, you know, everybody's like, well, you don't want to end up flipping burgers. I'm like, I don't know, I kind of do, I guess. <laughs> that sounds okay. As long as it pays the bills, you know? Like, I don't really... Some, some with low drama. Just kind of... This guy just doesn't want to get shot in the face, man. Some with no, like, low drama. Easy schedule. Laid back environment. I'm like, yeah. This is, this is good. This is this is a good job, you know. And uh, so I don't know. My aspirations always felt bad, and it's like uh, to a certain extent, it feels bad because I feel like I'm I'm not as much like. You know, everybody's always got their their big aspirations. You know, everybody wants to be a lawyer. They want to be a doctor. They want to be a they want to be a vet, they want to be a counselor, they want to be a teacher or a professor, or they want to, you know, end up uh, being like, uh, you know, rent working at like some huge company as a game developer or something, you know, like, you know, they have these huge aspirations, right? And then I'm just like, I just, I don't care for that. I don't know, I feel like, uh, it's like sometimes I feel like it kind of, I don't know what the right word is, I don't know what the right word is. So it doesn't make me feel like less of a person, because, no. Um, but sometimes it kind of makes me feel inadequate to a certain extent, because I, I feel like I should have these huge aspirations, and I, I should want to, 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 to be like successful in, in my, in, oh god, the sensitivity feels all weird here. Um, like I should, I feel like I should want to be like striving for excellence, and I just, I don't care for excellence, I care for adequate, <laughs> you know? And, uh, you know, sometimes I, I sit there and people are talking about their big dreams and their big aspirations, I'm like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm content, you know? And, uh, I feel like I, I shouldn't be content, <laughs> but then, then I realize, you know what? I'm probably, I'm probably in a lucky position as somebody who's able to be content with, uh, with very little, and... And it's probably an envious position for, for other people. So. Maybe maybe I'm the lucky one. Maybe they're the ones who get to envy me. But. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes I can't help but sit there and think that. I just. Uh, I just don't dream as big. And it makes me it makes me feel, uh, feel. It makes me feel little. You know. Sometimes. Sometimes. But I, I just can't get into the idea of, of wanting to, to be so much. You know, like, it's like I want to go and I want to go and be a a doctor. I'm like, you know how much time doctors have to spend not doing things that they enjoy? <laughs> like, yeah, you make a bunch of money, but what are you gonna spend it on? You don't have time. I guess you have time because you work like three days a week if you're like a GP or something. But it's like you you have to go through so much schooling and then like yeah, you get to retire early. But I'm like, I don't know save up your money from when you're young and like minimum wage can pretty much get you to retire early too if you don't have crippling student debt you're you know it kind of balances out to a certain extent um you know responsible spending gets you farther than uh just making more money will you know at a certain extent i mean some people you know, in some places uh, i know i recognize that i am uh, i'm fortunate enough to be living somewhere where minimum wage is enough to survive on fairly comfortably I recognize that in a lot of places, minimum wage is not enough, and and you have to expire to be better if you want to live on your own. Um, whereas that's not the case for me, uh, and I recognize that I am I am fortunate in that regard. Uh, but like, even even still, I just I I can't get into the idea of uh, of wanting to put like eight years of schooling into something, and then like if it's with, if it's what you want to do, you go for it, right? If that's what makes you happy, then like by all means, don't let me stop you. I'm not even trying to stop you, you know, like, if that's what you want, then you do it. I just, I can't personally, for me, understand the, uh, the appeal of it. You know, obviously somebody's got to do it. We got to have doctors. We have to have more doctors. More people should be, 
should be wanting to be doctors, but, uh, you know, I'm content with, uh, with just, not, not just squeezing by, but, you know, it, I don't, it doesn't take much to make me happy. Yeah, I've, I've talked about it before, it doesn't take, uh, I'm very easy to please. Um, yeah, I just, uh, for, for, for me, those, those huge aspirations, wanting to be something so much greater than, uh, than what I am, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't fit for me, and, it does make me feel small at times, but, you know, I just, I can't get into it. I tried. I tried for a while. I wanted to be a lawyer, and I wanted to be a doctor, and I wanted to be a game designer, and I wanted to be this, and I wanted to be that. Finally, I was just like, you know what? I really just want to not stress about what I want to be, and I just, I just want to make enough money at wherever I can do that, which minimum wage is enough, and just live comfortably, you know? Four or five days a week at minimum wage is, is more than enough for me to live fairly comfortably. And, uh... Sure, buddy. And, uh, then I get to... Not have to stress about what I want to be. I don't have to go through all this schooling. I get to... You know, I still have enough money to put away for savings and... For my future and retirement and stuff like that. And... It's just, uh... Yeah, for me, I just I don't, I don't get the appeal. So my aspirations, they are, uh, they are definitely smaller than, uh, than the normal person's, I think. And it's not that I can't accomplish a lot. It's that, uh, I just, I don't have any desire to. You know? I don't know, I guess, uh, I guess YouTube is kind of a, a large aspiration to a certain extent. I just I don't really consider it to be one. You know? I guess that, like, you know, my, my aspirations are, are to be, like... I mean... You know, if we're gonna talk about the the end game goal here, and you know what I'm what I'm really aspiring for here, and what I really want, um, is to have. Uh, I mean, I don't know, even here, I just I don't want to be super famous. You know, even on YouTube, I don't want uh, all that huge fame and stuff. You know, like I was talking about it with a viewer and like on Twitch before, and uh, it was like you know you got. Uh, all these Twitch streamers with like 10,000 viewers in their chat or whatever at, at one point in time, at, at any point in time rather, and uh, it's like you can't talk with those viewers. You can't. Try, try as you might. You will not have a conversation with any individual viewer in chat. It's not going to happen. You might be able to have a uh, a conversation with like chat as a as a as a, as a singular entity as they kind of like put forth their general ideas and you can kind of see the, the general consensus behind what they're talking about. But like any individual is, is kind of lost in the in the masses there, you know. And to me, that kind of takes away a lot of the magic of Twitch because I really, really love seeing the individuals and being able to talk with the individuals and and see their own personal ideas and and each person's you know ideas and 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 thoughts. You know, to me, that's what makes Twitch so much fun. And um, so to like. I, I don't I don't I don't want to get to ten thousand. Like once I'm once I'm at the point where I have, yeah, I I got uh, so I've got I've got like kind of like three thresholds, right? I've got uh, four hundred dollars a month total, American four hundred to five hundred dollars a month total American, um, from Twitch and and YouTube to where I'm able to live on my own, um, through the use of disability, as well. So disability. Uh, I would be also getting paid from, and then that, together with the, the American, which gets converted into Canadian, and that's, like, increasing it even further, um, that's enough money to me for me to survive on, right? Like, that's enough money for me to pretty comfortably get my own life and, uh, and live on my own, right? Okay, so that's, that's, like, threshold number one, right? But I don't want to be on disability for all my life, so I would, uh, after that happens, I'm still going to want to continue growing and get to a point where I can replace all of my disability wage as well with uh, with YouTube and Twitch, so that I'm I'm completely independent of uh, of the tax system because you know that would be nice because I don't want to be a, a strain on the tax system any more than I have to be. Um, but I can't hold a full time job normally, other than this, because I really really enjoy this. Anyway, uh, that's a topic for another day. Um, so that's like threshold number two. And then threshold number three is uh, is getting like an extra thousand bucks a month out of that, 
to get me to a point where I'm like super comfy, you know, where I can make purchases. If I want to get a new computer, I can buy a new computer. If I want to save up and get a house, I can get a house. If I want to uh, move to Japan, I can do that. You know, I have I, it gives me freedom to do whatever I want to do as long as I just put away a little bit of time to save up for it. And then after that, I'm done. <laughs> you know, like like that's that's my aspirations is like three thousand American dollars a month. You know, at that point in time, I'm like, yeah, I don't need I don't need more. This this is like, I'm I'm done. My my life is complete. You know what I mean? No, well, probably like third. Yeah, about three thousand dollars American, probably three thousand to thirty-five hundred bucks American is is like end game goals for for Twitch and YouTube. You know? It's uh, that's that's a big goal. I don't know if I'll ever make it there. You know, like I don't know. I I think I can make it to the first threshold pretty pretty well in in a few years easily. Um, but the the that one 3500 bucks a month i mean that's that's a lot to ask for i have i have no idea if we'll make it there but those are my thresholds and again with with youtubers i feel like going past that point like i'd be you know i'd have to sacrifice a little bit of my enjoyment on youtube to get to that point and and give up some of that individuality of the uh of the the comments and the the messages and stuff um but then after that point i feel like i would i would want to intentionally like slow down my growth but like you can't really do that you know so it's, it's something that i think about from time to time and you know I've, I've talked about it before you know it's not even necessarily things that are going to happen to me but just things that uh that i think about that i'm like what would i do in that situation you know like if this happened what how would i handle it because i wouldn't want to keep growing at that point i would be done you know i'd be like this is this is where i'm at but Giving up on your growth on on a, on a platform like this is just—it's suicide. It's it's a terrible idea. You can't do that. You have to continue growing because uh, otherwise you're going to shrink. If you're not, if you're not, you, you don't, you can't stag. You cannot maintain the status quo. You either grow or you shrink. Right? People are either continuing to watch you, and uh, as a result, more people are finding you, or people are not watching you anymore, and you're you're shrinking, right? They're either, they're either engaging or they're not, and uh, you, you can't. You, there is no point of equilibrium with it. So you have to you have to continue growing, and I can't sacrifice my channel for the sake of my personal enjoyment out of it. So it's like I don't know. I don't know what I would do at that point. You know, I'd be enjoying it less, but then at, at that point it, it would be like such an obligation to me that I'd like have to force myself to do it anyway. I'd still be enjoying it. Like don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying it now when I get. To, very few. I mean, I get, I do get quite a few actually comments and messages and stuff as I was talking earlier. But like, you know, I just uh, for for me, it's just so it's a scary thing to think about because I just I don't want to I don't want to get to the point where like I can remember like most of the comments that I've gotten. And that's that's obviously that's that's going to disappear as as uh, as time goes on. That that's obviously not uh, not a long term thing. I'm not going to be able to remember like all the comments and stuff. But I can remember like the people that are commenting. I remember you know profile pictures. I remember this stuff because it's uh, every individual comment. It leaves a uh, it leaves a little something for me as I as I get the notification. And I feel good about it, you know. And at a certain point, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be getting those feelings anymore. I don't know, maybe maybe it'll still feel good, you know. I don't I don't I haven't been there. I've been uh, almost to the first threshold before before I gave it up. Um, I didn't I didn't push for making money on it at that point. Uh, if I did, I would probably still be doing it, and <laughs> I'd probably be getting pretty close to the second threshold by about now. But eh, enough about that. Um, you know, I've never been there. Maybe maybe I'll feel differently about it when I get there. If I get there, honestly, what I'm hoping is that uh, my content is just not good enough to 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 you know pr you know you get to if you ever heard the saying like promoted to the promoted to your level of incompetence, you know, because um. You get you get your job as like a sales rep, and then you're really good at being a sales rep, so you get promoted, and then you get you're like a supervisor. You're really good at being a supervisor, so they promote you. Now you're a manager. They're like, oh well, you're a really good manager. We're gonna promote you. Now you're like a, a general manager, and then you're not such a great general manager. <laughs> and they're like, well, I guess we're gonna stop promoting you. You know, so now you're like kind of a meh general manager when you would have just been better as a regular manager, but like you're, you're promoted until you weren't good enough to be promoted anymore. You know what I mean? Um, so promote it to the level of your incompetence 
And uh, I'm hoping that my level of incompetence stops at that third threshold, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I, I don't want to keep growing past that point. I don't want to. I just, uh... I like I like the individuality that uh, that my that my commenters and, and subscribers and viewers and stuff have that uh, that you start to lose and uh, you know it's, it's a problem for the future again like I said it's not really a problem that I have to think about it's just a problem that I like to think about because I like thinking about problems you know I don't like being surprised right it's not that I'll be disappointed if I don't make it there if I'm like oh well yeah I prepared for it and then I didn't get to do it you know it's like uh, if you're ever sitting there and you're, you're just thinking about how you're gonna mess up some rando who comes up to uh, to attack you on the street or something like that. It's just kind of like that, you know? It's not something that's going to happen. It's just uh, pops into your mind and, and you think about how to handle it. And I like doing that with all sorts of things. So when uh, when situations happen, I'm never like, oh god, what do I do, you know? I'm always like, okay, I know what to do. And I, f I feel like that, uh, I mean, it helps take away a lot of the stress when those situations do end up happening. Um, so... Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Hopefully the audio was fine in this episode. I'm going to go check it. Um, bit of a longer episode. Did we die once or something? I'm not even sure. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I've, I've committed to scrolling first.